Hi guys, I'm Nico Loco from Love at the End of the World and we're shooting for Parsync Magazine. I wake up with a big smile on my face, no joke. Uh, I wake up, I make breakfast, I always have dalawang fancy canton and three eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy canton, no joke. Uh, but it's true, fancy Canton. Eh, my cat, Tasha. I love my pusa so much. And thirdly, I think my career acting. It, acting is my passion and it makes me want to wake up every day. Yeah. The best gift I've given myself is responsibility. When I was a kid and I decided to leave home and pursue my career and the things that I wanted in life, for sure, I was when I first left home, but getting that responsibility teaches you so many things. Things that can't be taught in a classroom, things that can't be taught by your parents. You have to experience challenges and failures to learn responsibility. One word that best describes me. I'd have to say I'd have to say stubborn. Stubborn is the best way to describe me. I've never taken no for an answer, especially if it's something that I really, really want. And it's been a blessing and a curse. I think people find me extremely annoying at times. But also, uh, I think it's allowed me to keep pushing forward in my career and find new success. It feels like I've never quite accomplished my goals and there's always something more to be achieved. I, I would define myself as stubborn. <laughs> what gets me excited? My short answer is boobies. <laughs> no joke. Uh, <laughs> I'd say waking up every day and having the opportunity to fulfill my passion and that's exactly what I do now. It's acting, modeling, hosting. So I feel like I'm excited every day that I get when I had the chance to work. But also, uh, spending time with friends, family, love gets me excited. I think love gets everybody excited, to be honest. That feeling of love inside your heart, inside your chest, inside your gut. But he didn't feeling, and when you can find it, I mean, it's a special feeling. Yes. Oh, I have a pet peeve. Dalawa, actually. The first one is chewing with your mouth open. I hate that. Like when someone just... That's like the only sound, when I hear that, it's the only sound I hear. Like everything else like just dulls out. The second one is when people don't listen. When you like tell them over and over something and they just continuously decide not to listen. It's, this industry is not as easy as it looks and it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> If you hate the word no, then don't do this. Because you're gonna be you're gonna be told no a thousand times, you're gonna be told yes once. That's the, the comparison. But if you I mean really love acting and have a passion for it, and not just a passion for being famous or being in the limelight, I mean have a passion for the craft, then give it a go because it's the, one of the most rewarding things you'll ever do in your life. For me, I mean, like I said, I'm, I've been rejected countless amount of times, but 
every day I woke up and thought I could do this. I just believed in myself, that's all. And eventually I, I, people started telling me yes. Anyway, so give it a try. I, yeah, I really recommend it. My other advice for people who want to be an actor is make sure that you do workshops, you train. That's the most important thing before trying anything because I feel like a lot of people nowadays see somebody on Instagram, see somebody on TV and they say, I want to be like him, I want to be like her. But they don't know the actual amount of work that they've put in to the craft, to actually becoming an actor. So just train Muna, do workshops. And then you can aspire to be somebody that you see on TV. Yeah. in the shower. <laughs> I want to keep this answer PG, guys. <laughs> I mean, whenever you're thinking the implied, of course, I do that once in a while. But oh, my routine is I'll get the conditioner, I'll soak that in first, let it sit, so my scalp just and my hair just absorbs the nutrients. <laughs> Pass the oil, conditioner advertisement. <laughs> and then I use shampoo uh, once in a while. I don't use shampoo every day, so go to one or two times per week. And then, yeah, soap it all up, up in here, everywhere, sagu hit. Uh, and then, once I've washed my body, then I wash the conditioner, and then I leave the shower, and make sure you moisturize after the shower. They say your body is full of all this hydration from the water. You wanna lock all of it in. So I use aloe vera, and I rub it all over my body. That was, I use a hydration uh, lotion, cell deck, for my face. My role in Love at the End of the World, Bilang Tony. He's an American tourist traveling in the Philippines. Sobering the pressure, he wants to die actually, and he went to the Philippines so he could plan his perfect suicide. When he was in the Philippines, uh, again, this series revolves around seven days before the end of the world. That's every, every couple's story. So I'm staying at a resort, I'm planning my perfect suicide, depressed, I hate my father, I just want to die. But oh, I want to die before the world ends. That's my big plan. So I have hundreds of ideas of how I would kill myself. A gut full of poison, uh, cut my wrists, that. That was in between that seven, actually, actually before the seven days, I meet a guy named Tony. He's a 24 year old cutie guy in the resort and we fall in love, get out there. I fall head over, we fall head over heels for each other. And the, be the beautiful thing about it is we're polar opposites. Like, I come from the US, of course I, I don't really know anything about Filipino culture. And then I meet this kid, Tony, in uh Provincia. Uh, and I don't think he's ever been with a foreigner before. And then we instantly just click on all these different things. And I think that's what surprises the viewers the most. And that's what I find the most beautiful about our story is love is really limitless. You can meet people in the unlikeliest places and that's how me and Ian meet. I won't spoil the rest of it, but that's the basis of my character and Ian's character. Hey guys, Akabos Nico Loco. Catch me on Beauty and Style issue of Parsync Magazine and visit www.parsync.com. Be in sync with Parsync.